Well, let's yeah. bring in Gilead CEO Dan O'Day to tell us uh, about these results. Dan, thank you for being with us this morning. You know, these are the full results from that NIH run trial. Uh, and you have a, so more, a deeper look uh, into different patient groups and who this benefited. So tell us what these final results show about how helpful remdesivir is for COVID-19 and for whom. Sure. Good morning, Meg. Good morning, everybody. Uh, you yeah, know, this is really important. There's been a lot of data that's been released over the past weeks. And it's important that I, you know, discriminate that this is the final results from a gold standard clinical trial that was run in conjunction with the NIH. And importantly, also, it's now been also so-called peer reviewed. So it's been looked at by doctors and scientists that had nothing to do with the study to affirm the results, and it's now been published in the New England Journal of Medicine as of yesterday. And there are really three key findings that we saw in this final study result. First of all, uh, you know, it, it, it reduced, uh, it, you know, it, it, it actually helped people recover faster, uh, up to a week uh, in the more severe patients and five days uh, on average across anybody in the hospital. Secondly, it prevented people from getting sicker, from going on to um, you know, more oxygen support, where we know the, the outcome is, is worse. And then very importantly, uh, it reduced the number of people who died by 70 percent in the largest subgroup of patients, those receiving oxygen. So this is important information for, for doctors, for patients that are stricken with this disease. And importantly, uh, as we announced a couple of weeks ago, thanks to the efforts we've uh, took last in, in January and working with partners around the world, we now have enough supply of this medicine for patients in the United States and globally by the end of this month. Well, Dan, tell us, of course, about that mortality benefit, talking about saving lives. If you look at the trial, it showed that benefit for people on oxygen, but not sicker patients who are on ventilators, for example. I mean, does this really underscore what was expected about this drug? The earlier you give it, the more of a benefit it likely has. But this is not a rescue drug for somebody who's really in the severe critical stages of disease. Yeah, it's important to note that the investigators of this trial felt that this mortality benefit was very meaningful for those patients that are earlier in their hospital stay. Uh, that it helped uh, reduce the number of patients that, that died if it was given early. Seventy percent is, of course, a very large figure. Um, and to your point, Meg, uh, when we designed this study uh, back in February, remember, we knew, frankly, very little about the course of the disease uh, and also exactly how remdesivir would work in that disease. Since then, we've understood that, uh, you know, mor mortality or, or the risk of dying uh, differs greatly whether you're very early in the stage of the disease or late in the stage of the disease. Also, this is a medicine that works uh, by reducing the viral replication in the body, which is important earlier in the disease and earlier in your hospital stay, which is why it has its greatest effect there. Later uh, in your hospital stay, uh, of course, you have the second effect of this, of this terrible virus, which is the body's immune system overreacts, produces inflammation, and that causes uh, risk for patients, including an increased risk of death as well. And so uh, we're studying in the later stage of patients remdesivir as a standard of care, as a backbone therapy, combined with other anti-inflammatory medicines that may help us uh, improve the outcomes for patients later in the disease. But what's really important from this study is that the earlier you treat, the better in the hospital, and you can prevent people from ever even going on to those stages of the disease where the risk of dying is very high. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.